Is your collection not looking its most patriotic? Well, this little cardboard box has all the patriotism you need. But Huxbox, you say? Being a patriot isn't a commodity. It's a devotion to your country. It's not a thing. It's a feeling. Sure, there's that. But it also means going to a 4th of July barbecue, decked out in a t-shirt with an in-your-face, suck-my-flagpole meme, accompanied by American flag board shorts. Because nothing says, I love America, more than old glory and your very own ball sweat. Don't believe me? Let me show you the cards. Let's rip some aces. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Huxbox here. Today's video, we're going to be taking a first look and review of the 2023 Prism Football Fat Packs. We got a box here. Now, these haven't hit stores. They're online only. And I think, judging by the product checklist, that these value packs, aka Fat Packs, might be the best format for retail Prism this year. So you smart, huh? No, no. I thought your hair would be bigger. I'll tell you why in a moment. First, I want you guys to know that I have a January giveaway going on for the entire month. We're giving away a box of Prism Football. To enter, all you have to do is be a subscriber and on any January video, like and comment. And each comment for each video gets you one entry into the giveaway. Also, I want to let you guys know that I have memberships live on the channel. So if you'd really like to support the channel, like what I do here, want to help me grow, do better openings, better rips, better content, be sure to check that out. And lastly, let me introduce who's on stage. From our last Prism Football rip on the left there, we got a, a premier jersey patch of Bryce Young. And on the right, we've got a Anthony Richardson laser. Be sure to go check out that video. It was a pretty good rip. So why do I think this might be the best retail format for Prism Football this year? It's because of this. Out of these, you're going to get one base or rookie silver, one base or green rookie, one green insert, three red, white, and blue prisms, one rookie, and one insert. If we do the math, and these are $17, $16.99 a pack, versus blasters, which are $30 to $35, or megas, which are $60. Bucks. If we do the math per parallel... Megas and Blasters, you're paying about $7.50 per parallel. In a fat pack, you're paying $3 a parallel. So from a per card basis, you don't really care about the base cards. What you want are the parallels. You're getting more than twice the value out of these fat packs than you are either the Megas or the Blasters. God damn. <laughs> Could look like a peanut. <laughs> <laughs> But we're going to find out. Let's just break right into it and find out if that holds true. Because we, what, what we cannot account for is the pull rates of rookies out of these things. And that's why we're going to open a box. Now, I paid 180 bucks for these off of Card Giants. Of course, they are out of stock. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to find them anywhere in that price range it's going to be over 200 probably so thankfully last year or in previous years you're used to the cellos we uh with the separate red white and blue pack we don't have to deal with that so you're going to start with base you're going to get to your one rookie and then your silver there's a bills damar hamlin and we get to our green seahawks so no rookie our green insert, Tyree Kill. Our red, white, and blues, Kittle. Tanner McKee. And a Gabe Davis. I do like the red, white, and blues for my for my bills. And a Holland. Okay, so one of the parallels was a rookie. Out of, was it five? You get five per pack. So that's a, a, a 20% rookie rate alrighty spin through the base and if you guys do like these kind of videos would like to see more 
Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help out the channel. Only about 10% of you who watch are subbed. Let's try to get that number up a bit. All right, a red, white, and blues. John Riggins. Quinton Johnson. Again, only one, one rookie out of those five parallels. So, so far, that 20% is consistent. I am recording this on Sunday, prior to the games. Uh, we did have two games on Saturday. Marvin Mims, Mike Evans. Little Jordan Humphrey. Jalen Waddell. Jalen Hurts. There we go. Bryce Young on the red, white, and blue. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of America! Now these red, white, and blues, they are a dime a dozen, I will say. Especially once plenty of this product gets opened. Um, they will be everywhere. I'll just put that over there. Lamar, Prismatic Joe Burrow. Um, but Saturday's games, we had the uh, Texans uh, just manhandled the Browns. It was 45 to what, 14. The real Flacco appeared. Yikes, look at that thing. <laughs> look at it's, uh, Attacked by an animal of some sort. There might be a badger still trapped in there. The only car that was damaged. Stroud was quite impressive, and of course, that's what we're looking for out of this. We're looking for a CJ. His card prices are certainly going to fly through the roof. Chase Brown, rookie, on the green. Bijan on the fireworks. Malik. Jaden Reed. That's not a bad one. I'll sleeve these up later. Don't be concerned. And this... It's got kind of a weird bend in it. I'm not sure. Yeah, but Stroud was... Amazing. To say the least. Um, he is in a, now a select company of rookie quarterbacks to win a playoff game. Um, he joins the likes of Aaron Rodgers, Brock Purdy, Russell Wilson, and Big Ben. But he also joins a crew of people like Mark Sanchez, TJ Yates, Aaron Brooks, and Sean King. What does all that mean? Where does Stroud fall in there? I think he's definitely in the upper tier. I think we have an auto here. We have a backwards card. 312. Is that an AR? Jonathan Mingo. I think that's going to be an autograph. No. Troll. It's just a backwards. I thought that was going to be an auto. Oh, Panini. You got me. Let's ride. Somewhere in out of Denver, Xavier McKinney, George Kittle on the silver green prismatic, Quinnen Williams, Kenny McIntosh, Jake Ferguson, and a Kenny Pickett. So yeah, it looks like of the, of the red, white, and blues, you're going to get one rookie. Um, and then you may, probably not, but you might get a green or silver rookie. Okay. Little Jordan again. I won't be fooled again. You can't fool me. Um, I'm actually supposed to be getting out of prison today, sir. Yeah. You're in the wrong line, dumbass. Over there. I don't think so. Not this time. Isaiah Foskey on the silver rookie. Scantling. Pollard. There's our rookie Chiefs. Yeah, there's no good Chief rookies. Well, I take that back, Rashi Rice. I apologize, Rashi. Hendon Hooker on the portals. That's actually the first time I've pulled the portals, and I don't understand that. 
All right, that's halfway through. Our best card halfway through was a Bryce Young. Terminator. Our silver. Bills, Von Miller. Bucks, Chris Godwin. Garrett Wilson, nice color match. Minka, our rookie. Titans, Will Levis. Peter Skaronski. And a, another Russell Wilson. And a Bryce Young, Prison Break. We'll sleeve that up. And the other game, the Chiefs and the Dolphins played in uh, on the South Pole. Chiefs looked pretty good. They looked tough playing the Dolphins, but I also don't think that's probably a tough task. I don't think the Dolphins were ready for that kind of weather. Not going to be fooled. Ooh. Ooh. I'll take that. There is a C.J. Stroud base. I think these are selling for like 40 bucks, which is just insane. He is, I mean, he's looked good. That's no doubt. But uh, we all know how this hobby goes. The new hot rookie prices go up. And then they slowly decline over the next several years to figure out what kind of player he is. If he's great. Like Patrick Mahomes winning some Super Bowls. His prices go back up. Can this be an auto? I'm, I'm just, I can't trust. This is such a terrible reveal if it is an auto. A sauce? No, it's not. How am I supposed to know if I have an auto? Sauce on the silver. Fields. AJ Brown. Say flowers. It's not a bad one. Well, honestly, this occurred to me the other day. I think uh, it's, you know, Lamar is an excellent football player, but from a stats uh, perspective, he doesn't put up a lot of passing numbers. There's going to be a, there's a PC card. So I don't think, I think Zay, as long as he's with Lamar, I think his... Okay. Uh, just pay attention. This is a 15-card value pack for comparison. It feels like it has five cards in it. It better not be the base. But I don't think Zay... Maybe it has all autographs in it. Okay, it doesn't have the base, so whatever. Although, I don't have my rookie. Payoff. Kendra Miller. Portals Justin Fields. Kenneth Walker. A chain on the red, white, and blue. Yeah, but I think Zay, um, yeah, I don't, I think he's, he's, he's capped for sure. He had a good year, 700 some odd yards, but Lamar's not going to throw for 4,500 yards. Even though he might be a, a talented player, um, the hobby wants stats. I feel like it was old. Oh, to base CJ. Lamar on the silver. Speaking of him, I, I'm sorry. I didn't, didn't mean to talk bad about you. Sit your monkey ass down. Chill out. <laughs> Kenneth Walker. Joshy e. Allen. Michael Thomas. Cowboys. Overshone. And an Elway. Emergent. All right, we only got three packs left. Did get a base Stroud. Bailey Zappi. If you're even on the team next year. Dorian Williams. Jack Campbell on the rookie. Daniil Hunter. Another Justin Fields Prismatic. I feel like we pulled that already. Bettis on the red, white, and blue. Will McDonald. And a T-Law. T-Law. Is he, is he any good? Is that 2021 class just kind of meh? Wasn't 
didn't we decide somewhere in the last half of the season that T-Law was the last hope for the 2021 class? And he kind of floundered. Tariq Woolen on the silver. Zach Ertz. Ramondre. Sam Howell. Luke Musgrave. That should just tell us that 2021 class. How hard. Incredible. This is thin too. Is this my base? I bet this is my base. I didn't even count the packs, to be honest with you. No, this is not the base. This is definitely missing some base. So don't trust fat packs. Schoonmacher. Kelsey. Sam Laporta. There we go. We will take that. Today the Lions and Rams play and... Why can't I think of who else plays? The Eagles and Bucks? No, that, that's Monday. Tua, Kenny Pickett, Yaya, Jalen Phillips, and a Bijan. So, our best pulls were really Achan on the red, white, and blue, a base CJ, Bryce Young, red, white, and blue. And then these were our colored rookies, so. Not bad, considering a dart throws. Laporta. I should put that in the good pile. You know, we got plenty of dart throws, and that's what you want. Isaiah Flowers, I forgot about you. So, and that's what you want out of it. Jaden Reed, that's another good one. That's another good one. Bijan. Chase Brown's not bad. So, you got the dart throws. We just, you know, it's still going to be hard to hit on the dart throws. But I do think this might be the best value for Prism Retail, let me know your thoughts below. I want to thank you guys for watching, spending even just a minute of your time with me today. Till next time, peace out.